Hi, hello, this is Scott from Scott Tindall's Home Shop, and it is roughly, I don't know, 1 o'clock in the morning, so my little helper here is fast asleep, and through the uh, gracious generosity of a viewer, uh, Stephen, um, rather not say his last name, he may not want his name mentioned on uh, YouTube there, but I was able to come up with a brand new, it is a uh, GoPro session, just a hero session, a little small GoPro, GoPro camera. A uh, little SD card, and there's an app on my phone. I can't show you. And it come, and then I, I bought this little tripod. You take out the, uh, you take out the bolt right here, and then you can bolt it in here. And here is the uh, mount for the camera, and. We're going to try to do this one handed. And I got a, a brand new Platinum Plus Ultra 6000 61 inch medium duty tripod. And let's put that off to the side. Here's the tripod. And we are going to. Oops. We're going to lower it down. Ah, sorry about that. It's kind of hard to do this when you're filming and doing it. Alright, the nice thing about this is, hey, whoops, I don't know if you can see it or not. That's a little bubble level right there. It's just not showing up real good. Alright, let me lock the legs so I don't bend anything. Alright, the nice thing about this is it's got this little handy dandy little trigger on it. Come on, focus camera. And you can lean it, turn it around. And you can lean it pretty good, and if you need to lean it more than that, then you can, when you squeeze this handle, you can turn this collar, and there's a slot. See? And it, now I can lean it way over. Like that. And, and you just squeeze it and turn it. Now, now it'll go wherever the, let's see, right here I can turn it. Now, this aluminum up in there. Yep. A pop metal. And the nice thing about this is, let's turn this around here. This has a little brass pin right here that locks this back. And so, you just take this, you just take this and slide it in. And let's turn the tripod around. And when you push it down, it goes back. And then you push it the rest of the way to cam it in. And I wish this camera would focus. There we go. The light won't focus. And then the little camera. You know what? Hang on just a second. Alright, now if I can not bump into the other camera here. And I also purchased Movie Studio Platinum to uh, try to learn a little bit more about uh, editing software and stuff like that. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But what you do this little thing right here it's a pretty neat little mount I gotta make up some more mount it just slides off and now I slide that on like that push that rubber piece down to lock it and okay so hey the camera's facing backwards no problem unlock it put take it out now the camera's facing where I want it to and I can move it if I need to go more than that, that's quite a lot. 
If you need to go like way over, you just turn that to that. And if you need to turn this a little bit, for some reason, you can unlock that. And now you can turn that for whatever reason you need to. Hello, camera. Alright, so we're going to take this back and pull this up. Squeeze these in. We're going to take this and put it back in its little uh, storage housing here. Just going to squeeze her back, push that rubber up, and squeeze her back in. Put her under the glass case. I hope there's not nobody mess with it. Alright, now, ooh, let me uh, pause you just for a second. Got you back in handheld mode. Had to put you on the thing there for a minute. And to let it up and down, you loosen this collar and to tighten it up. It's just a compression collar. And it's uh, got one down here that locks these legs in. And like I said, there's a little bubble. Come on, focus. Man, it's probably because I got the light turned on. Let me turn the light off. There we go. So I can I can get the camera level, which that doesn't matter. I don't know why they do that, but anyway, they do. And here's the editing software. Bunches of buttons and stuff to play with and different tracks and stuff. And right now, I am rendering a test video that I made, and I have two and a half hours for it to render. And I don't know how big it is yet. I think it's 45 minutes. That is just about everything. Thank you. My daughter is ecstatic. She wait, can't wait. And as you can see, we have two cameras, tripods now. And I made this which the phone slides in and goes up under there and locks in and that's what holds the phone and this is where the light will clip on I've been using this for a while I had to add some shims because I'm using a new cell phone and then you know you adjust this one like that and then screw it down so there you go and it's not level with the flip there you go. Alright. So that is the uh, GoPro Hero. The GoPro Hero Session. And as we get more money, and no, I'm not asking anybody for money. As we get more money saved up, I might go get a better hero or now, or I might get a still camera that does videos that allows me to zoom in and stuff like that. So, there you go. Um, wish I could turn this camera around, but I have to turn it around and hope. That, oops, sorry about that. So, this is a quick impromptu uh, unboxing video. I'm Scott. I want to say thank you for watching. We're trying to get better. We're trying to learn. And hopefully we can take better videos and learn a little bit more about lighting, different color lighting, stuff like that. So if you like what you see, click the like button. I meant the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and click the little bell. We upload all kind of stuff. Trips in the woods, trips to the mountain, working on cars, welding projects, weld, working on lawnmowers, go-karts, chainsaws, and might even include going to the firing range. So until then, have a good day. God bless and stay safe.